What is up my dudes? Welcome back. We are here in the garage with none other than the F1 Nifty. Alright guys, so I was out of town this past weekend and during that time I got my new item that I picked up for the F1 Nifty. A couple videos back you guys saw me try to make the Ford Raptor lookalike grill function. You know, with those three little amber lights on the top and we had no success. And that kind of deterred me and pissed me off because that's kind of the whole reason why I got this grill is for that amber light and uh, obviously the Ford emblem looks pretty badass too. I, I, I really didn't like the fact that it didn't work so I went ahead and I bought a new one. No lie guys, the grill looks beautiful. I just wish those damn amber lights functioned. I can already hear some of you saying you went out and bought the same grill again just to have those amber lights working again no no it did not we went out and we got a completely different grill completely different style it is one that you don't really see that often in the streets and that's the main reason why i got this one guys is because you do not see it that much i'm definitely gonna miss the ford raptor style grill it definitely made the truck look that much tougher the thing is guys that grill is super common to get a lot of trucks a lot of f-150 owners that's like the first thing they get that's like subarus and mud flaps that's that's actually a really good comparison now i am definitely going to miss the raptor style grill uh especially in the 18 through 19 guys because we have that little facelift if you look on the 17s or below the grill kind of just ends right there for them but we we got that little bit of a facelift all right, I think I made you guys wait long enough. Let's go ahead and do the reveal on the new style grill that I bought for the 2018 F-150 XL. All right, boys and girls. Obviously, this is from none other than my industrious little friends over in China. Here she is, 2018 to 2019 to 2020 F-150 grill. Very nice. You can see that the top hampers are a lot bigger then on that guy and then you'll also notice we got a nice LED wraparound strip going on here on the opposite side as well alright so a huge positive about this grill is that you may not be able to see it on the camera but it has sort of a satin finish to it uh, it's not exactly matte black and that's good because uh, I am going to wrap this guy in a satin black color this would be the part where I take you along with me in the journey of taking out the existing grill and installing the new one. However, I do have a video fairly similar or close to it, uh, to that whole process. So there really is no need for me to add in more time and just do that when you could just watch that video. There's also uh, a lot more videos on YouTube that are slightly more detailed, just a little bit more detailed than, than my video. So you can also check those out if you are looking into replacing your grill or looking for a how-to on getting your grill. I finally got the grill out of the F-150. Now, oh my gosh, like literally taking it apart was fairly quick. I got it done in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so like that. Uh, but what took the longest time was actually taking the bumper, or the grill, I mean, off of the truck. All right, so hopefully you can see it, but underneath the grill assembly, you'll see this sort of plastic under tray or flap whatever you want to call it but that thing actually got caught under this rubber seal here see that see how it comes up it got caught underneath and i completely forgot about that the same issue happened when i was putting on the new or taking out the stock one that i had on here i had that same issue it got caught underneath and i was wrestling with this thing for the longest time until i until i saw that it was caught on here so just a little word of advice guys check underneath make sure it doesn't get caught on this rubber seal all right guys, I finally got the grills next to each other, side by side. So obviously the top one is our Raptor style grill with the huge Ford logo stamped across. And we do also have the little uh, grill amber lights on the top. Now if we look at our new grill, some similarities, we do have the amber lights on top, but these things are much bigger. You can even see the little diodes inside, the LED diodes. Compared to that one, huge difference. Another huge difference is this one has a nice LED strip that wraps around on both sides. Now, electrical is not really my strength, guys, so I'm a little nervous on this bit right over here. Now, everything did come with its harness and everything that you need right here. This one's going to be for the amber grill lights on top. This one is going to be for the LED lights that go around. Now, normally, when I have my lights on, these will stay blue. 
but when I use my turn signals for whichever side I'm using, they will light up, change colors into the amber and flash along with my normal turn signals here. Next up is to transfer the components from the old grill onto the new one. Basically the giant air shutter piece. But I think before that, I wanna mock up the wiring and see if I can at least get the top amber lights to work uh, before you know I tighten everything down, uh, put everything back to the way it was, just to make sure that the grill is actually a functioning grill and not a dud like that one. What up peeps, we are here in day two of the grill install and oh my gosh guys, look at that grill. Whew. Look at that grill, that thing is a beauty. Wiring took us all night to do. Shout out to my brother for helping me out on that one. Obviously it would have been a lot easier if we had a multimeter uh, to help us identify the wires instead of guessing. Uh, but through trial and error guys, we actually got it through. And damn, let me just say, that is one gorgeous grill. We did get a good chunk of the installation done. There are a few things left uh, that need to be addressed, mainly tapping in from the turn signal cable into the headlight wiring harness so that whenever I turn on my turn signal, this thing will be flashing amber just like my turn signal here. See that guys, I was not kidding. So we got this one going in for the top amber grill lights. Is this guy right here. And then we got these two. These go down and hook up to either side. They do have their own little connections. And then these go into the little control unit box, which does have a little wiring diagram on it, which was no help at all. Didn't really do us any good. And then these have wires. It's underneath the air intake, but wires flowing through. And this connects down into the headlight wiring harness. So I'll show you guys how I wired up everything because um, there is literally no installation videos and uh, the instructions online are a little hazy but so this is the other wire that needs to tap tap into my headlight turn signal here uh, and then I just need to tuck away the wire and then this should be good as of now this one is working and then pretty much tuck away my wires and make it look good alright guys the one thing I'm a little hesitant on is connecting in the turn signal cable and reaching access into the headlight wiring harness because if you look there is literally no space whatsoever to get access down there um, I need a child's arm to fit way down there but if you look on the driver's side this is why it's so much easier to work here is all you need to do is just remove the air intake box which is this, this bolt over here now be careful you do have a wire that is attached to the box so be sure you address that too but then once you got this thing removed, oh my gosh, guys, I could literally move in there if I wanted to. Anyway, guys, I'm not entirely sure how to go about doing it. I don't know if I should take out the battery or if I should go through the wheel well. I don't know. See that, guys? I was not joking. Look at this. Massive space you have when you remove the air intake box. Anyways, guys, you'll have, that, uh, you'll have the control unit box right here, this sucker. Now, this will have five cables total. Three will be your power cords, and then two will tap into your turn signals. I got a blue one here that's already in my turn signal, and then I have the yellow one, which I'm still hesitant. I, I can't figure out how to get access to it, but let me show you how I pretty much wired it here. Back here, guys, you'll go ahead and get access, and you can already tell that I spliced into this sucker a couple times. Remember that trial and error phase? Here's what I determined. You'll get three, so we have, I know you probably can't see it, but this one that my finger is on right now is a negative, it is black. That is going to hook up to your black cable from the control box. The middle one is connected to my red cable. And then this one down here, this last one, is the turn signal. So, let's see if I can try to get a close up. Turn signal, power, negative. So that's how I have it wired and it functions. This, the, this one controls the turn signal and your daytime running lights. The brown plug that I just had in my hand. Now if I could try to, there you go. And then you have the tiny one, which I don't think I tapped into, but we'll see. Yep, I didn't tap into this one at all. So this one is your high beams and uh, I think your regular headlights. Now that does, the control box comes with a white wire. It has a white wire coming out, chilling with the red and black wire. Um, however, that is only to install if you want these suckers to turn off as soon as your your actual night driving lights are on. 
So as soon as you turn those night driving lights on, the blue LEDs will shut down. I think that's more of a safety feature that they implemented. Uh, I don't know, I'm still thinking about it because my state is a little strict on auxiliary lighting. Um, I don't know how you would classify this, but... So that is pretty much it for wiring, guys. This is all included with the grill. You get the control unit, you get the top cable lights. Uh, I mean, you'll, you'll find a bunch of videos on this, but the top amber grill lights are super easy to tap into. These go into your parking lights. Uh, I kind of fished it out like this, and your parking lights are back here. I don't want to pull it out, but... It's back here, and it's super easy to splice into, um, and that's how you get the Amber's grill lights to function. Way easier. These, however, a little bit more tougher, guys, but if you just follow my simple, fairly simple procedure now that I've been working on it a whole night, so I'm kind of used to it now, but if you just follow those steps, guys, you should have these things functioning and running. <laughs> So, as you saw, there were a bunch of wires in place, and that stuff is just piles up real heavy, uh, and actually left it all there, but the hood would not close. I think because of the bunch of wires that are making this thing, you know, inflate a little bit more up, it didn't actually want to close down. It latched, but it didn't, it didn't lock in place. So, what I had to do is I had to trim a little bit of the... Um, of the, this, this cover, whatever you want to call it, this grill cover, I had to trim a little bit off because it has like a little lip at the end. Let's see if I can find this stuff. That thing is thick. That is thick. Had to trim it off. Uh, and now the baby closes. Obviously, I need to find a properly secure this thing. I can't just leave it in there. And uh, again, this is the yellow cable that turns into my turn ticket here. But I don't know how to do that yet, guys. So I'm going to wait on that. And I'm going to leave it like that as it is for now. But we finally got the grill on. Functions. Hood closes, wires eh, could be cleaned up a little bit better, but I, it'll do for now, guys. Lastly, I just need to figure out how to tap into the passenger headlight, uh, the wiring harness in that one, so I can make this one work as well. It's a good grill, very nice. Installation, a little complicated, but you can definitely get through it. Look at that pretty little thing. Beautiful. Alright guys, so again, I picked this grill up off of um, eBay and there are definitely a bunch of different types of these out there. Uh, all sorts of prices. They go up as high as, I think, 300 and as low as 220 and I opted out for the cheap one. This was, I think, 2 230 with shipping and everything. Not bad. It came with everything it needed. The harness, the wires. It's mostly plug and play apart from, you know, splicing into your connector. So I guess splice and play. That is it guys. I hope you all enjoy this one. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, share, tweet, I don't know, other stuff too. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace, and ooh, look at that grill. Real quick, I, w I wanted to show you what the grill looks like during the nighttime. I'll show you that in a little bit. Just gonna go take for a little cruise. This is the first drive at night, and uh, yeah, well, you'll see. Whoa, 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 licensed music. Jesus, dude, that thing is pretty bright. That is pretty bright. Looks cool. But, uh, actually, it's not that blinding. My real concern, guys, was these side lights. But, honestly, they're really not that bad. Here, let's turn off the main headlights. And that is currently parking lights on only. It's a tad bit bright. Those ambers, man, those are powerful, the ambers. Not bad, though. Does it light up my face enough? See, so he has powerful ambers, I'm telling you.
Well guys, there it is, the grill in action at night, as you can see, at, uh, those ambers, man, they're powerful. But I'm really worried about this, guys. I may just have to hook up the white wire so that these turn off when I use my low beams. Uh, because, I don't know, man. I live in a very strict state. You know, I barely use this. Actually, I don't think I've ever used it. A couple of times, rare times. But this, I don't know if, the, if they'll, it'll pass or anything like that, guys. That's why I'm a little worried. Um, I'm really not trying to get bugged by the police, but... The grill is beautiful. And uh, if worst comes to worst, guys, we'll just hook up the white wire so that, you know, those turn off and I use my... And they'll be on during the day, obviously, but nighttime, when it stands out the most, not as much. Going to go ahead and use the lighting from my grill uh, to go ahead and sign out, guys. I appreciate you watching. Let me know your thoughts on the grill, guys. I think it's a very unique gr grill. You don't really see it. A lot of, a lot of Raptor lookalike grills. It's a good-looking grill, I won't lie, but... I just see it too much, so I figured, you know, let's go for something a little bit more unique, a little bit more different, and I love it. I'm in love with it. I think I need to pick up some new headlights, some LEDs, because to match with the grill, but that's later on, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Take care. Peace. Beautiful. Gorgeous.